And this week, we are rolling out an update to our series uh, examining the impact of climate change as it continues to be a problem around the globe. And this week, we're taking a look at the implications of rising sea levels on coastal communities. You can think about cities like Miami and San Francisco and how dangerous it is for disrupting particularly uh, those communities on the coast. And for more on that, we're joined by Yahoo Finance's Akiko Fujita. Uh, and Akiko, I mean, this is this is an increasingly serious issue when you look and how sea levels have been impacted. Yeah, no question about it. And Miami for many years has been ground zero uh, and as it relates to climate change. We're talking about higher uh, sea levels, also stronger hurricanes as well. And that is prompting a lot of developers to look inland, away from the waterfront. That is increasingly uh, pushing development into lower income neighborhoods and growing concerns there about rapid gentrification at a time when there are a lot of people that are struggling to pay rent. Miami's waterfront has long been considered prime real estate. The exclusive views of South Beach and Fisher Island command some of the highest prices in the country. But some of that value is beginning to erode, along with the rising waters here. And Orlando Villavicencio is taking note. How much have costs gone up for you? My costs have more than doubled, almost tripled, since I moved here in 1996, he says. Community has grounded Orlando and Little Havana for 25 years, but the neighborhood's elevation is drawing outsiders in. Parts of it stand 10 feet above sea level, nearly six feet higher than these beachfront condos. People are looking at developing inland, more inland, where it's safer, where it's a little bit higher altitude, and so that could create gentrification pressures inside. We're starting to see that. Extreme climate is driving those fears. Hurricanes are becoming stronger. Streets are flooding more frequently. The National Weather Service says water levels here have risen nearly six inches since 1996. For Mayor Francis Suarez, climate change isn't a theory, but a reality. What's different about what you have seen over the last five years? What's different is that we're seeing other kinds of events, not just hurricanes. We're also seeing uh, 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 dry day flooding, which we call king tides twice a year. And we're seeing much more intense rainfall than usual. Um, usually we would get a one in five year event one time in five years. We're seeing five of those events per year. Those events are altering the definition of prime real estate here. Value isn't just in location anymore, but elevation. What's the elevation here compared to the waterfront? The elevation here is around 9 to 10 feet above sea level. It doesn't seem like much, but it's much higher than the like 2 to 4 feet above sea level that you'll have on the coast. Adrian Madriz is a community activist here. He says property prices in Liberty City have jumped 20 percent in five years as developers move in to replace single-family homes with high-rise condos. As you can see, there are these older buildings in front and also that brown building over there in which it's actually enclosed by the, by the newer buildings. That's displacing longtime residents in this traditionally African-American neighborhood, a phenomenon he calls climate gentrification. How is gentrification different from climate gentrification? So gentrification in general is driven by new urbanism, people moving closer to the urban core and uh, people wanting to avoid traffic. When you add climate to it, you're now seeing that same thing but happening in high elevation areas that were low income. Areas like Little Haiti, where a massive development is plowing ahead on land apartments once occupied. Primary election for the county. Residents worried about being priced out of their homes are organizing. They're thinking maybe this is a way that we can finally get rid of the blight and start to have some, some real economic engines producing for us in this area. Uh, but then at what cost? Miami already had an affordability problem with the city growing 20 percent over the last decade. Climate risks have complicated the picture. The city set aside $100 million to build affordable homes, but developer Ryan Friedman says climate fears haven't phased luxury buyers. They're still moving in, even after devastating storms. 
as the rebuild occurs, the memories are really short. The memories of the residents, the memories of the investors, and these assets go back to market value rather quickly. And so we haven't had an event yet that has allowed us to say, you know, remember that, like that was so painful that we want to stay out of that market. Back in Little Havana, Orlando Villavicencio says he plans to get out, even if it means leaving the place he's called home for decades. I'm very worried about the future, he says. As soon as my wife retires, I'm moving up north to some place more peaceful, more economical. The issue of sea level rise and gentrification, of course, not just limited to Miami. And Miami Mayor uh, Suarez said that he is in constant communication with leaders all around the world, whether it is the leader in Rotterdam and uh, Netherlands or in Venice and Italy. Uh, so, Zach, clearly this is a, a big issue that's being dealt on a global level. And, and we should point out um, that, you know, we've been talking about a lot of like millions of Americans that are currently struggling to pay rent. Uh, this is kind of the issue that could really exacerbate that uh, to another level. Yeah, and one of those things, too, when you think about gentrification, one that might not be tied to climate change, but clearly is some interesting insight there. Uh, Akiko Fujita bringing us that. Appreciate that. A reminder to be sure to watch uh, the next updates that will be coming in the series. Yahoo Finance rolls those out next Tuesday for our series on the climate crisis, when we look at how insurance companies are scrambling to cover increasing climate-related claims as well. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.